my name is Jonathan Lucas, and I'm the Senior Manager for Client Experience and Education at Salentica. Our vision and brand message is pretty simple. We try to keep it straightforward at Salentica. We, we want to help you succeed, and we want to help you grow your business. We help you showcase value to your clients by having good tools at your fingertips to improve those conversations day in and day out. And we help you get better at what you do overall through efficiency. We like the fancy word operationalize. I don't think you'll find it in the dictionary, but it's our way of thinking about centralizing work and collaborating better and better in the context and for the goal of being a, a, a world-class service organization, no matter how small or big that you are. It's why we do what we do. That's actually why we're in this business. It's why we make the products and support them the way that we do. <clears throat> and how we deliver on that message is through a, a vision that focuses on putting data where you need it. Doing that in the context of our solutions it helps you achieve those results that we were just talking about. So it's really all about leveraging that data and the technology to what we call just being more human. We like that phrase because the technology is just, just technology, right? We're techies, we're geeks, we're product people, we're support people, we're designers, we're industry people. The purpose of all this is to essentially be more personal and be better at what we already are trying to do. We want to help you do that. If you've never heard of us or are getting to know us, we are not new. We've got a lot of experience under our belts helping clients and firms like you get better at what you do and solve a lot of the problems you're trying to solve. With us, you've got some choices. We actually have two really high quality CRM solutions. And depending on which one is a good fit for you, we will encourage you to adopt it. This is a super simplistic, high level understanding of the products. Today's presentation is about Salentica Engage. And that's our solution known for being really tightly woven into the Microsoft stack, the Office 365 ecosystem, the Microsoft Power Platform, the Dynamics 365 ecosystem. You might use one or all of them today. That's what it's known for, but it, it also has some feathers in its cap and being probably the most customizable of all. We also have Salentica Elements, which is built on the Salesforce ecosystem. It also has a, a lot of the features of Engage in terms of being configurable in terms of having a, a nice ecosystem to blend into. It, they're just a little different and we, we don't have a, a favorite child of ours. In some cases, it's a little bit like Toyota and Honda, Pepsi and Coke, if you will. The point is you may not know, you may have a clear picture and a preference, but you may not know. And our teams works with firms every day that are running actual businesses on these platforms, on our solutions. And we can help walk you through some decision-making advice, although ultimately it's going to be your call at the end of the day. But today's presentation is going to be all about Salentica Engage. Now, Engage is hard to cover in a single session. Candidly, I hope to pique your interest so you'll continue to learning a little bit more. CRM is a bit of a clumsy term these days. It's an old fashioned term that we all still use, but it's much more than a CRM. A really strong engaged appointment is really a way to manage the whole business and manage all your clients. But it has some really sweet out of the box things that you just get on day one, being able to easily track all your tasks and your work in one spot, logging calls, obviously email tracking is right then and there. It has a really nice mobile experience so that when you're not at your desk, you can easily look up someone's name, add notes and calls and, and all that. It has a great tie into the rest of the Microsoft ecosystem. This is a visual to see that the Engage platform embeds what's Microsoft calls Dynamics 365. It's a platform that is designed to be customized and built on. That's what Engage is, by the way. It is an entirely pre-designed solution that it is highly customizable. And yes, you can personalize and, and we train you and, and show you how to do that, but you don't have to. Out of the box, it is already well thought out with you know the right data structure to have a lot of information you need arranged in the way you need it. We've got some pre-built integrations to custodians and portfolio accounting systems that are brought in through our data broker platform. That's all included with Engage. 
So you don't have to go and buy a, you know, Microsoft platform license. You get that with Engage and you get support and education for life and, and all future enhancements engage. And we always are there to help you. There's always something new to learn and new to try out with Engage. It's a live solution. So once again, Engage, I'm running this in a web browser. That's the primary experience most people use Engage in. There is a high quality Outlook experience as well that is candidly a, a really nice way to get other people who may not go into Salentica often or don't know how or have forgotten somehow. We see all types. Maybe you're one of those types. It's okay. We're all about helping you guys succeed. And whenever you think about having a new solution in place, and certainly Salentica is a, a powerful platform, there's training and education that's involved. We're going to spend time with you both during the setup, which we call implementation, but also right afterwards, we'll spend time in training sessions with your team, showing you the ins and outs. And what's important, even before I get into this dashboard and show you how dashboards give you, you know, real-time information, answers to common questions, I want to point out that built into our solutions is us. We are built into the solution itself. I can easily come up here and hit the question mark. And I'm immediately taken to my help center to submit a ticket to the team, browse articles and videos and how-to guides all about Salentica Engage right here as well. In addition to that, at the bottom, always with me, is a very nice little Salentica University tab where I can click anytime and type in a question or a keyword to remember something about Salentica. And in some cases, I may even want to use the teach me feature. And teach me is something that we're continually enhancing, but teach me gives me and anyone on my team, a nice guide to follow on getting oriented. So let's get engaged 101. Where am I? Maybe I was on vacation and I missed the training session or I'm a new hire, you hire a new person. You got to train them. They can come in here and it's really nice because it guides you through articles or videos. In some cases, you can even do things like a interactive tutorial where in this case, I want to learn how to create a lead. If I want to create a lead, I can actually click on that and it'll tell me what a lead is. And it'll guide me on screen in my own environment, in the comfort of my office on how to actually create that in my own environment. It tells me what a lead is, reminds me of some good practices. So I'm not duplicating leads and it tells me on screen where to click. This is part of the overall service and education. It's just one option that we have. And it's something that I want you to be aware of from the get-go with us. One reason people like Engage is because it's so easy to get around. Just honestly, it's something that's really easy to pick up. It doesn't take a lot of training to start looking up clients and adding notes and logging activities. At the top, one of the most common things is searching. Obviously, people need to just search and quickly find. So I've got a nice dashboard here with quick insights on maybe birthdays coming up. I've got a, a nice built-in tool to Salentica in our solutions we call Salentica in touch. Now Salentica in touch helps me have the right conversation with the right person at the right time. And I can surface some of those insights right here in the form of a dashboard. For example, I might have a upcoming review section just like this. This is actually one of the dashboards, by the way, that's already built into Engage, although it's very easy to tweak it as well. Here I can see folks that are out of touch in my network. And I'll touch the power of the network here in Salentica Engage in a minute. But let's say I just wanted to search up someone's name. I can type in a keyword of a person or maybe an activity or a keyword that I know came up in some note or task or whatever. Look up a specific workflow that's running right now. I'll just type in Rogers right now. And as I type, it does my search for me. So it's suggesting some contacts. Nick Rogers will be the focus of our demo today, but I can also go and search for the more robust results screen. And here I can see every instance where that keyword has shown up across my relationships, my prospects that we call opportunities, my contacts, which are individuals, and all the different kinds of activities I have in here. Easy to surface it, it couldn't be easier. Type a keyword and go. I can easily filter by certain people or date ranges, but you don't need to do any of that 90% of the time because it's easy enough to find what you need. So searching is great. That's one of the most important things and it's just really easy to get up and running. 
One other thing I'll show in the main navigation here is this nice little plus button. At any point in time, I can easily add something like a person, um, like an important note. We call it important information. I can tag any client record with this important information. I can come in here and quickly log a call. Maybe someone had a call or called and they needed something or they wanted to talk. I didn't have time to look up their record maybe and I can just quickly log phone call and I can have a, a nice text box to start jotting my notes down and I can actually attach it to any client record just like that. Maybe I'm placing a call and I wanna make sure I note that I left them a voicemail. I can do this from here. I can do it from a client record. I can even do it from the Outlook window. It's super, super simple. On the left-hand side are all the components together that make up Engage, all of the underlying types of data. So I'm on a dashboard, that's where I started today. You can really start anywhere you want in your given day, but dashboards show other pieces of the system in a way that you like. It's like a little canvas of quick insights. Here's a list of all my work, the tasks I'm working on, the tasks my team has, outstanding phone calls and emails that have been tracked, all can be viewed in activities. I also have a really nice built-in workflow creator and manager. We call it workflow manager. And it lets me design my own processes. And I don't have to code anything. I don't have to go into a backend interface to design these processes. I can actually easily automate common sequences of tasks and follow-ups around my clients. For example, when a client needs money or to open a new account or onboard somebody, Solentica Engage's workflow launcher, unique feature will let me do that. The hub of Engage is really the relationships. The best way to think of it is, is like a household. It could be one person, it could be a group of people, but a relationship is where we like to roll everything up in a way that makes sense. So I can have a single pane of glass on that particular group of people. That way I can make a great decision or I can have a high quality conversation with them. Let's go ahead and explore this a little bit more. Down below, I can see a grouping of my clients across the firm. Now I could search for one client. I could click on relationships on the left and go browse them that way. But I happen to have this chart here, which I think is very helpful. And I can see if I hover on that, I can actually click into what I've categorized as tier one clients. So maybe I segment my clients in my firm by tiers. And maybe those tiers are based off of arbitrary perceived complexity or based on the revenue, based on the fees that they pay us every year. Doesn't really matter, but I can click on that and I can further filter by perhaps relationship manager. There's any number of fields you can filter by. All you do is click on it and you go. Now with that, I can easily see that my friend Tanya and my colleague Rachel are managing this number of clients. And I can actually take this chart, make it bigger, or even jump into a more detailed view. That's what I'm going to do right now. This type of functionality, it looks so simple, but it's hard to pull off in a way that makes sense to people. And yet I have all the detail level as well as the high level information I need. And so if you think about just day to day, any of the questions that come up, such as who's working on what, which clients are next? which prospects are the most valuable to follow up with. The simple tools of being able to search, have a dashboard to sift and sort through lists and the graphs, the combination thereof, it's, it all comes together in a way that's really hard to reproduce in a, such an elegant way. So with my list view, I have a lot of traditional intuitive tools like sorting and filtering. This is what you would expect. I can sort by maybe the next review date, who's coming up. I see Nick and Catherine Rogers. I'm going to look at them in just a second. If I need to update data in bulk, one way I can do it is by simply exporting it to Excel, easily make changes and re-import it right back in. Solentica like Engage supports Excel import and export right in any level of the system that you need it. I can also search and filter. And what's nice is I can also then create my own views. I am not just stuck with what Solentica came up with. This is a pretty useful one, to be honest, but maybe I want to tweak that and have, for example, Broken Rachel, New York relationships. Someone created that and shared it with me. If I click there, I'll filter the list of relationships by just that group. We have firms that are small. We have firms that use Selenica that are medium-ish in size, and we have really large firms. 
these tools can scale whether you're a small shop or a large enterprise. And because Solentica is not just software, it's also service. That's what's included with the subscription. That's what's included with our partnership. We can help you scale it appropriately. And if you need different views and dashboards and workflows to make it work for your team, regardless of your size, that's where we make the difference and can help you get from just finding new technology you like to actually using it and being successful. Let's jump into a specific relationship and unpack this a little bit. On screen is the relationship record in Solentica Engage. If you do not change anything out of the box, this is exactly what it looks like. And it's been very thoughtfully laid out. It's very information dense by design. Some people like to add other pieces that are not here so that they can easily scroll down and see it. There are other places you can add more information along the top, along the tab. It doesn't have to be too complex. It can be as simple or sophisticated as you need it to be. This is a really good balance where I can see the history of the relationship. How long have they been with us? Are they connected to my team? Which people on the team are they connected to? Brooke is the RM, Vlad is the wealth manager and so on. Some firms have really large service teams. Some it's just one point of contact and that's okay. You can utilize one or five or more of these points of contact and that will help your workflow manager feature. Workflow manager will look at these kinds of roles as you build your process and say, okay, for moving money, your operations person will do this part and so on and so forth. That way you don't have to over customize this thing just to get it working and have really high effectiveness. On the right-hand side is a nice reference panel that shows me very important information. These are like digital sticky notes I can add to any record. So they're always front and center. I also can quickly browse any financial information that's come into Solentica Engage via one of our supported integrations. And we support a lot of the, the major solutions out there, including the Advent Solutions, Black Diamond, Orion, Tamarack, we are encouraging people to bring in information if it helps the business. There is a notion out there and I, I can get on my little soapbox for just five seconds. Some people have in their mind that integration means bringing all data into one system. And I think people are starting to realize that isn't necessarily the silver bullet that it might sound like because some software, some interfaces shouldn't be the be all end all to every system. What we try to focus on with Solentica is having integration, pre-built integrations, ones that just work, that are turnkey, that help improve the quality of your conversations, that help bring in or show or display or link to information that helps you have a better conversation, helps you make a better decision. And so we, we do support financial accounting integrations. We have some custodial integrations as well that will show up in the financial account area of the record. And ultimately we can take some of that information and surface it in things like market value. So that market value on screen on the left is looking at all the underlying financial accounts that were brought in and we're rolling up the values to a relationship aggregation here. That way it can help me understand when I sift and sort my client list without having to go run reports and refer to external systems. I can get some basic information on who they are, approximately how much they're worth and so on. And it'll help me inform things like my in-touch service feature. Again, in-touch is that thing that helps me have the right conversation with the right person at the right time. Generally, most people know what they're working on or what they're talking with somebody about. However, what they don't always know is you forgot someone. <laughs> it's hard to keep track of dozens and dozens of relationships, let alone just client relationships. Sometimes it's just your entire network of contacts. And so we can actually use in touch to help keep track of that. So you can see last email, last conversation, and last review already populated for me right there by engage. It knows when I've logged those activities and we'll log one together in just a second. But the next touch is really valuable because I can see front and center what I need to be focusing on any given week. And I can easily adjust it if I need to, but what this is saying is, hey, based on your decision as a firm, as a team, 
as an individual, you wanted to give the Rogers what you called a tier one service schedule. They're a valuable client and I've decided it's worth staying in front of them, staying in touch, at least by email every couple of weeks, maybe scheduling a call, maybe an informal touch base every two months and trying to do a more formal video meeting, the more significant, maybe a deeper dive. And we call it review. You can easily tweak that for your own liking, for your own firm. You can even do it for some places have multiple locations, multiple branches. You can actually tweak this as needed for any location. It's very built in, easy to configure, no programming, and the automation will just handle the updating of all your clients. Importantly, it does this for prospects too. Some people, they go from prospect to client to prospect. They're growing the business just as much as they are nurturing current clients. They're selling just as much as they're serving. And the good news is that the in-touch feature works across both prospects, which we call opportunities on the left, and clients, which are going to be found in the relationships area. Now, let's go ahead and do something together. Let's accomplish a, a quick task here. Why don't I try to reach out and talk to Nick about something? In fact, before I do that, I think he may have sent me an email. So let's jump into my outlook for a minute and let's just check my email. Look at that. Would you believe there is an email from Nick here? That's, that's really surprising. I didn't know it was going to be there. But Nick sent me an email and I can see that in my Outlook interface. And this could be Outlook web app or Outlook online now. In this case, I have Outlook desktop running, just the Windows version. But it works in Outlook for Mac. It works in Outlook for mobile. I have a nice panel that can recognize this is from Nick. And it pulls up Nick's information for me inside the Outlook interface. And this is nice because it just brings some of that information that I've worked hard to keep up to date and engage and make sure it's valuable. And it brings it right here at my fingertips. So before I reply to Nick, maybe I want to go in and click on him and, and look up more information about him. Let's just do that real quick. I'll click on Nick. Widen this up a bit here. So here's Nick's record. I can actually browse this, the full record, actually. I'm not really limited in what I can see. I can see his birthday, his anniversary, the ways to stay in touch with him. I can see that my colleague Tanya talked with him a couple of weeks ago. This is just great intel to have at my fingertips right before I talk to Nick. It's almost like I'm working and collaborating with everyone else at my firm by having this information in one spot. Even if I'm not, even if I'm, I'm running solo on this relationship, I need a safe place to keep this. And it probably shouldn't be in my Microsoft OneNote only, at least. Probably shouldn't be in my notepad at my home office. It should be in the CRM. It's easy to do with these tools. So let's say I need to call Nick back. I've already tracked this by hitting regarding, and that basically attaches this email to the Rogers relationship. And now I can easily come up here and click those three dots and add a follow-up activity, for example, a phone call. So let's just do that example real quick. So there, that's done. And now you see, before I hit save, it actually did a few things for me. It carried over the subject, the client name, and it even copied in some details from the email itself into the body of that phone call activity. So that saves me a couple steps. And even a small thing preloading in the date and the subject for me makes it just that much easier to use the system. Our brains are not good sometimes at listening to what we want. They just do what they want to do. And our brains all shut down when there's just one step too many sometimes. So we've tried to make this as easy as possible to actually add activities in this case, I could actually even have a follow-up task be generated as well, separate from the phone call itself. I could assign that to a teammate and so on. So it's pretty simple to get up and running. And importantly, it'll even track the time. So I'll talk more about time tracking if we have a little bit of time left at the end. But time tracking is not a hidden feature, but it is a secret benefit. It's a really nice thing that is built into Solentica solutions these days. I don't have to do that from Outlook, by the way. I can hit the plus sign, activities and log that call. I can come right here to this activities plus panel and add a new call right here. I can do it from the mobile app as well. And one nice thing about Solentica is that 
it puts an emphasis and high visibility on activity management. I can not only see what's outstanding and upcoming, but I can come here and filter by any date range. I can search for a keyword search right here. I can type in any word I want. I'll just the word goals. I know I've got results. I'll just hit the word goals from all dates. So let's only look for the word goals in emails and maybe phone calls. So that's a specific search. Now I found any email task or phone call that has the word goals in it. That's just a quick example. So it's a really nice way to filter and find something very specific. Most firms over time, they have a lot of data. And you hear me emphasizing searching, findability, because when you live with a solution like this for a long time, finding stuff easily, it's hard to overvalue that in my experience. And we've talked to a lot of people in, in our tenure here. I'm going to touch a little bit on how new clients funnel through and become clients. Most firms I talk to, turns out they are interested in growth. Most firms are adding clients or at least working at it. And then what would you do with that client in terms of having them go through a workflow? How would you process them? How do you get them on board? How do you organize some of the work around that? And how do you make it so it's a little more efficient rather than having a little spreadsheet tool over here to track them here, there, or otherwise? So you can do all that work in Selenica. And where people might first land if you first meet someone, or maybe a lot of people have uh, podcasts or other lists that they nurture over time through some third-party marketing automation. Uh, and by the way, there, there are a bunch of marketing automation tools that work with Engage and can have some really robust email templating and campaign automation features. Some of those are built into the Microsoft e ecosystem and others can still integrate with Engage and have a good experience. But however they get in here, they're probably going to come in the form of a lead. And a lead is a way to create that first landing spot of someone in the system. You may or may not know much about that new contact, maybe a lot about them and you're just getting them in here. Maybe you've known them for a long time and they just weren't in your list for some reason. But the minimum requirements to create a lead is not much, a name and maybe a topic. Who are they in context? Of course, you can track the source. You can customize this list so you know where your leads are coming from. Initial potential AUM or fees and so on. You can actually track them and they can stay in your lead funnel for as long as you need to while you send them emails, track calls, and so on and so forth. The goal of a lead is to qualify. The qualify button is when I can say, you know what, let's keep going. They are more than qualified. Let's move them into an opportunity. And then they become an opportunity record. My opportunity record is essentially a full-on prospect. It's someone we'd like to win. Someone that we'd like to have be our client because it's a good fit. We know it's a good fit. So here I have a list of all the firm open opportunities and we let you classify them by maybe household or institutional client. We let you track the timing. Approximately when is this person even looking to need our services? What do we think that relationship may be worth? There are other ways to filter it if you want, if you can use probabilities. Some people like temperatures because they don't like numbers. So they just prefer a temperature approach and that's fine. I can also filter and look to see who should I be talking to? Remember we had Salentica in touch. That will help me keep track of particulars. I promise to follow up with them on such and such a date and so on. Let's change my chart to like a pipeline view. It's a good old fashioned pipeline view. It's very helpful to see. I have a lot of people that I'm potentially talking to that I maybe don't really know where they, are, where they stand. So they're really early in the process. Maybe most of my people are down here and maybe I should be focusing on the people down closer to the propose or the close stage. So that narrows my focus quite a bit. And I, we've talked about in past sessions about how if you ask a hundred different firms what the most valuable asset they have is, a lot of them will say their relationships, their clients. Some will say it's their staff and employees, which I actually agree with. That all comes down to the time they have. So part of what you get with a strong solution, an integrated solution with all the right data organized for you. Part of what you're getting, part of what you're buying, if you will, is time and focus. I know right now that this client I've marked as hot and they're looking to move pretty soon. I need to stay in front of Nick. And I, if I ever get distracted, this can bring me back to focus. That's why I love these tools. It'll bring your attention 
to the right person at the right time. That's how we've designed it. So here's an opportunity record. Along the top, you can see a little bit of the process that I'm in right now, then working with them for a while. Back on the qualify stage, we got some basic information. Here's the referral source right here. The discovery stage, we had a little more information and we had the some key fields were filled in. You can actually tweak what you consider your discovery process or your KYC getting to know you process. You can include whatever steps you need to as required if you want. You can require you or your team to walk through some of this before you move on to a stage or you can make them all optional. So there's a lot of leeway you get here. And that kind of leeway, by the way, doesn't break anything. Engage is super customizable. Technically, there's almost no restrictions, everyone, to what you can do with Engage. And listen to this part. This is really important. You also don't want to customize it to, to the nth degree either. That's part of why you hire us. That's why you'd get Engage. It's, it's a really well-built, thought-out solution. And we're adding to it. We just had a release a couple of weeks ago with some new features. And you can only get those new features if you have a version of Engage that is relatively in line with our data model. So you can customize workflows, views, dashboards, custom fields, all that stuff is supported. But it's going to feel like your environment. It's your Solentica Engage. And we can advise you on the best way to do that. By the way, some firms don't even want to do any of that. So it's okay. You might think, I don't have time to be a customizer. That's fine. It's designed to work right out of the box and help you make better decisions and bring insight to your fingertips right away. You can see where you are in the process. I can see all past activities right here, right front and center. We're all working from the same page. Do not keep working on an Excel workbook for your prospect list. There's no reason to do that with a tool like this when you have essentially all these fields, you can still look at an Excel view. If you like your table, you just click right there and you see that list, but now you can come in here and everything's connected. I can connect them to my service level. So I'm making sure I'm staying in touch and get my reminders to stay in touch with this person every month. I can see my referral source. And this is important. I'll spend a minute on this. It's really important that regardless of how you've been using any CRM solutions in the past, and whether you come from a big institution background and you started a new firm or you've been a grinder on your own and an entrepreneur, it, it doesn't matter. And whether you've been in this business for five years or 35 years, you want to have all of your contacts in here. Maybe that's a no duh moment. I don't know, but it's worth just emphasizing it because you don't know how much value is in that network sometimes until you have them all in the same spot. Simply having a person like this contact here in there might be a good way to unearth other potential relationships. If you can just by simply visualizing your data better, by knowing your centers of influence and linking them to opportunities, if you can just see that even once or twice a year and have an insight, a valuable insight where you realize there's a connection you can make, you can literally make something that's called connections and engage where you can tie people to prospects, to current clients. If you can get even one or two relationships out of that, you've overwhelmed the cost of the solution itself. Maybe that sounds salesy. That's definitely not my intention. I'm really passionate about this and having all this stuff organized in one place. It's really valuable and it's not just conceptual. A good question that came in, can you see opportunities, secondary relationships from the opportunity record? For example, see the names of the opportunities, children or spouse. How this works, let me complete the loop first here. They would start out as a lead. You can actually skip lead if you want. You can put them in as an opportunity and you're going to link a primary contact if you don't have one or you'll create one. So Nick is now a contact in my system. I can link them to a current relationship because you can, all, by the way, also track opportunities for current clients. You might have outside assets or just something else you want to track as new business. If you don't have a relationship linked yet, that's okay. Because when I do close this as one, and we hope you win it, you close it as one, it will then create a relationship record. Okay. Now I have a relationship for Nick that he's connected to. And any information I can grab, like addresses and things like that, it's going to forward it on and create that relationship for me. But if I know other information about Nick, 
I can actually display some of that here on the opportunity, or I could just click into Nick directly from here. So now I'm, now I'm on Nick the contact. And now this is probably where you want to have that kind of information, relatives or other people. Because now that I'm on Nick, whether or not Nick is going to be my prospect, client or a former client, they're an individual that exists outside of the fact that you may or may not have them as an opportunity. You may have other networks that overlap with them. So it's just good to have a record for them. Here you can see um, I've got my connections right here. So here's my connections for Nick and I can actually link to opportunities. I can create new connections. I don't have a family one. That actually would be a good example, but I can actually connect hypothetically here. Let's go and add Amy or let's add David Clark. Let's say David is a relative here. I can actually add on the fly. I'm adding David Clark as there's professional relationships. I can do, there's actually family relationships. I'm going to add it as a, a professional relationship, a former accountant. So I can actually add David to Nick's record. And I can even give a time frame. It's former accountant. So how far back are we going? Maybe I help Nick with his taxes. And we got some old questions here. In fact, maybe I'm his new accountant. Maybe my firm took over tax services. So it's good to know who the former people are. There's an information note, former CPA. I can even add an extra note there. Also loves the Florida Marlins. For some reason, they love the Florida Marlins. So I'm going to hit save on that. So now whenever I look at either David's information or Nick's, I'm going to be able to see that they're connected. Maybe I serve on a board with him or I see him in the community or I see him online on LinkedIn doing stuff. And I think that name sounds familiar. Do I know him? How exactly do I know him? I can look at my CRM and see, oh yeah. He's connected to my favorite client, Nick Rogers. So it all circles back. It's, it's actually pretty simple. And it's, it's just a matter of how do you want to service that information? The pur purpose of an opportunity is just to be a placeholder before they're a client. Sometimes you may not win and it's okay. You can close it as loss and you have all that history, all that activity that you spent, all the stuff you learned about them is stored there. It doesn't get deleted. It's just inactive. It won't be in your main list. So that's the nice thing about having this not in an Excel spreadsheet right inside the CRM where it will feed your relationships. Running a business, running a modern financial services practice is you've got process. Sometimes it's just process that's nice to have. Oh, we'll be more organized. We'll be more efficient. It would be nice if dot, dot, dot. Other times it's process that if we don't have this, we're in trouble. Or we certified and asserted to the SEC that we do it this way every time. So that's where workflows come in. With the workflow launcher of Solentica Engage, I can um, generate a new on-demand instant workflow for something brand new, or I can use a template. People really like using templates most often. That's what we find, that people like having a template so I can just start that process. But for example, if I go to workflow launcher, I can come and create a new launcher record. All right, I'll just walk through this for a moment. And here we let you copy a new workflow from a template. Again, you do this because you don't want to reinvent the wheel every time. You're gonna need to go and onboard a new client. I copy from a template and some examples of templates that we include opening account, client onboarding, depositing, withdrawing, and so on, risk tolerance reviews. I can actually choose one of these, for example, and say, schedule this immediately or set this up to start in two weeks when I know I'm gonna be working with the client. So at any point in time at your convenience, you can set this process to begin. Sometimes it's right now, which is why we have that option there. Once I do this and I just give it a name, link it to the client, I start it and it will go and kick off a bunch of tasks that I've already set up. So I created a workflow and the workflow is just like a little organizer. It, it actually organizes all the other steps. Here's the steps and the actual tasks are right here. I didn't get into today, and we may not have time to get into a lot of detailed activity management, but really, I'll just pull this up. This is a task that was created by the workflow manager. This is just a simple little task. And this is sitting here. The task is to evaluate the client portfolio. This was automatically created, okay? It's regarding this workflow. It's assigned to Brooke, who was the client service professional or the, the relationship manager there attached to this client. She could have initiated the process or I could have done it. It doesn't matter, but because we have a standard way of doing it, it's already organized. It's never going to get lost. The due date was predetermined based on our standard service level. 
you try to be responsive to client requests. Every firm's a little different, but yet at a minimum, you're going to have a one business day turnaround was the goal with this. So Brooke will come in and review and evaluate the client portfolio. I'm going to, on her behalf, mark this complete. And what this will do is it will say, okay, no problem. That task is done. What's next? And then it can be a series of one or multiple, multiple tasks. You don't have to sit here and watch this workflow. People are going to have their work to do. Their, their, their tasks will show up in their activity views. They can get notif push notifications, emails if you want. There's different ways to rig up a notification in addition to just having it all show up on their dashboard. So here you can see that the next task to actually initiate that rat raise cash is open. And um, it can, again, be assigned to Brooke. The nice thing about this is along the way, at the workflow level, we will know how long things take. At every level, if, if I'm simply logging an email from Outlook or logging a quick call, we can attach time automatically to all of that and do the heavy lifting around understanding who's taking up time. And I talked earlier about the most important thing is your team and then their time when you're running a business, running a practice. With the Solentica time and expense feature, we automatically gather and do that heavy lifting so that when you want to, you have actual data to review to see these clients seem to be taking up a lot of time in the last few months. Is it us or is it them? And do we need to do a fee review? Just think about the scenarios there. It just gives you insight. You're probably pretty successful at what you do already because you've gotten to where you are. So what we're trying to do is provide some tools to help you have a better opportunity to execute on your vision for your firm. Again, you may consider yourself a small shop. You may not be, you may be very well established and you need something you can really build up on and rely on. And I, I do genuinely believe that all the stuff that I'm talking about today is, is going to help you with that. I'll just mention one other thing. And this is important to think about because implementation isn't easy. And if anyone tells you that, oh, it's easy, they're just uninformed. It does help to have really good experience doing this. We do have a pretty good process. If and our team has helped a lot of firms migrate from old databases, new ones, or start from scratch. The reason we're doing all this again is to help you do what you do better at the end of the day. Thank you for some of the time you took today to look at Engage and get interested in Solentica.